Well, starting off this morning, we are talking about Operation Lone Star 2019, and we are joined by Maribel Juarez and Lieutenant Melinda Leo Rodriguez. So thank you, ladies, so much for coming in today. Thank you for having us. Thank you. So let's talk a little bit about what exactly Operation Lone Star is. Operation Lone Star is uh, an exercise that helps us prepare for any kind of uh, disaster or any emergency and at the same time uh, we want to try to prepare our public so they can uh, better you know know where the, our resources are and what to expect mm -hmm. um, so at the same time we also want to provide them some medical services and and have them so they can take advantage and we normally have them throughout uh, at this time so they could take advantage of them because of the new school year that's mm -hmm. coming because a lot of the services that we provide you know are for for the children definitely and how long has operation lone star kind of been in full effect uh, full effect we this is our 21st year wow. that we've uh, had operation lone star mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> we do have many participants that have participated in the past years uh, we we've have uh, serviced about 43,000 people wow. and um, or actually we provided about 43,000 services and this past year we uh, provided services to 9,300 uh, participants that attended. Definitely. And I know this is something that is throughout mm -hmm. the uh, various counties in the Rio Grande Valley, different locations that people, uh, depending on where they live, can easily access um, and go and get uh, these services. And they do vary. Uh, depending on what exactly they would need. Um, so let's break down. I know that you said that you guys like to prepare uh, the community. That's first and foremost what you like to do, but also complement it with some different services for people to get. Um, I know there's some eye screenings and health checks, uh, everything to kind of keep themselves in like tip top shape. So tell me a little bit um, about these preparations that you guys do while they are there as far as uh, these different um, examples to how you kind of prepare them for any kind of disaster. So uh, first of all we do uh, we provide uh, vaccines mm -hmm. and vaccines uh, for example when we had an outbreak on H1N1 we went ahead and uh, had to be prepared to provide that vaccine to mm -hmm. everyone so uh, that's one of the things that we provide every year vaccines for for children especially when they're going to go to school uh, secondly we do um, diabetic screening and high blood pressure screening and the vision and hearing uh, we do provide dental services um, and vision exams in certain areas mm -hmm. and I know after 21 years is there anything as far as making it smooth and easy as possible for people coming out to partake in these services should they be prepared with any documents should they arrive at any certain time or anything like that we do expect for them to get there a little bit early mm -hmm. and uh, with a lot of patients and some time on their hands and perhaps even bring some snacks with them because uh, sometimes the, the waits can be long. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't require any kind of identification. Uh, we just uh, perhaps ask them to go ahead and, and fill out a registration packet uh, and that's simply to just know who is there mm -hmm. and in case uh, there we do have some doctors that prescribe uh, prescriptions mm -hmm. and if they, for whatever reason they need to refer to that person then we have that information on hand mm -hmm. and can you go over just exactly where these different locations will be out that way people can kind of um, easily access them and maybe start marking down in their calendar sure I'll have Melinda mm -hmm. share that information. so we are in Cameron County in okay. Cameron County we're located at Porter Early College High School okay and in, and also in Harlingen mm -hmm. and so in Harlingen is the Harlingen School of Health Professions okay in Hidalgo County, it's a PSJ Early College High mm -hmm. School, and also Juarez Lincoln in Mission. Okay. And in Stark County, it is at the A2, or AC2E Magnet School, okay. otherwise known as the Fort Ringwald uh, School. Okay. And in Webb County, that mm -hmm. is in Laredo, and that's at United South, South High School, the ninth grade campus. Perfect. And this is all going to be happening in this next coming weekend, I believe July 26th, if I'm correct? It begins on July 22nd, mm -hmm. which 22nd, is Monday, yes. and it goes all week through July 26th. Mm -hmm. uh, Monday through Thursday, we'll be there from 8 to 3.30 p.m., Perfect. and then on Friday, we'll have uh, hours of a little bit change, but it's from 8 to 2. Perfect. Okay, this, so this is a week-long initiative, folks. I'm sorry. Uh, so it's a week-long initiative, not just one day. Um, so make sure that if you do want 
uh, locations in your county to contact the their local county health department for more information on exactly where that location may be um, and for times as well or you can also call 211 I believe to kind of get that information um, and you don't need any paperwork any documents to bring with you uh, you may be asked to again fill out a registration form when you arrive um, and take us through again a little bit of what someone can expect when arriving there as far as what they can expect to um, maybe receive or so uh, at the time that they register uh, we'll do expect that there's going to be a wait mm -hmm. um, there will be a registration table and among the registration uh, table we will have also other resources that are available uh, for example, tobacco uh, cessation will be there. We'll be having someone, some social workers and uh, that will be providing um, behavioral health information. And um, just expect to have a wait. And, you know, there is some areas where if or what, um, some sites that are going to be offering some glasses mm -hmm. uh, or preparing for some glasses. However, you do need to take your prescription. Okay. Um, <clears throat> sometimes the prescriptions only valid for a year mm -hmm. so we, we need to have them keep that in mind okay um, but we will have the mobile um, um, optical unit that's going to be providing some glasses in some areas definitely and what is the response from the community uh, after doing this again for 21 years to kind of have those resources available to them um, when they come out during that whole week well I will share that um, <coughs> excuse me uh, I will share that we've had some um, coaches, for example, that uh, he loaded up all his uh, team onto a bus and brought mm -hmm. him to to our one of our sites, and they went ahead and got their sports physical done because that's one of our, the services yeah. that are provided. Uh, he wanted to make sure that his football team got all the required information that they needed before school. So that was one of the things, and they were very grateful that we do have this type of event. Uh, including uh, there was a young child that went ahead and for the first time had some glasses produced for wow. himself and he was very excited that he was going to be able to see the blackboard mm -hmm. when he went to school. So we get a lot of good feedback from our participants. That's fantastic. Now this is going to be happening from Monday, July 22nd until Friday, July 26th. 26 again, we'll have a little bit of a time change, so make sure to take that into consideration if you are planning on going out there. It is in various uh, counties down here in the Rio Grande Valley, so make sure to call your county health department for further information as far as locations um, and where you can go. I want to thank you both so much for coming in this morning. I really appreciate it sharing this information it is important and I hope that a lot of people go out there and get the things that they do need and get the help so thank you thank so much you. for coming in thank, thank you. you for having thank us you.